Hello fellow cinephiles, Film Guru here. So today I'm reviewing Panos Cosmatos, his first film, Beyond the Black Rainbow. And it stars Michael Rogers, Eva Allen and Scott Hayland. And it really looks at a mysterious institute known as Boria, where a beautiful girl is being held captive by scientist Dr. Alan Nile. Her mind demonstrates powers beyond nature, but she remains in control by a sinister pyramid-shaped light. One day she sees an opportunity to escape, but first she must journey through the darkest reaches of the institution. This was a very interesting film. After watching Mandy, I really wanted to go back and watch Panos' first film. And this had a lot of ideas that he went on to use within Mandy. It is a very experimental film use of colors and different types of filming methods and dissolves and putting scenes in reverse and and a lot of colors used manipulating the frames and and this the film that the, that he's decided to make here and it's very unique and different i don't didn't enjoy it as much as i did with mandy but there's some something really interesting about it it sort of sucks you in a little bit it's a very quiet movie there isn't a lot of dialogue but when dialogue is spoken you really need to listen and pay close attention and sometimes it's very hard to do that because of the way it was filmed and the way the actors speak there's something really profound in a way about this film i think it's still a breath, breath of fresh air in in a world filled with just mediocre and crappy films that i think there's something interesting about this film that just sort of sucks you into the world it is a little hard going to begin with it is very slow, much like Mandy, but in a different way. And there are sequences that you get a bit over with the oversaturation of colors or the flashing lights or particular shots that are used throughout the film. And it does take a little while to sort of get anywhere, but I just was mesmerized by it. I think Panos is such a unique filmmaker, like I said with Mandy, that he makes really interesting, unique films. It does a fantastic job with this film. Yes, it is very reminiscent of other films, and it is sort of a love letter to particular sci-fi films such as THX 1138, George Lucas's film, and Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey. And it also has a little bit of Ex Machina in it as well. So it's sort of a love letter to those particular films. And even though it's familiar territory, it's what he does with it and what he's trying to say here. The film opens up in a small, you know, four by three shape square that you usually would see on TV in the, in the sort of 80s. And it sort of introduces this particular man talking about this group, this institution of um, trying to evolve and become better and evolve as a human being into something greater. And this is sort of what this film really looks at. And this is the beginning of the institution and we learn a little bit about this. And then we're thrown into the story and we meet the young girl and we'll meet the doctor and we see what she's sort of capable of throughout the film, that she has telekinetic abilities and is able to control things and manipulate things. And this is kind of interesting and the way they use this sort of ability is quite fascinating to watch. There are gruesome sequences in it and the violence is a bit full on in certain parts, especially towards the end of the film. But this is what you expect from Panos. His, his stuff is always a bit, pushes boundaries and always pushes things a bit too far sometimes, but it's effective of what he's trying to tell, the type of film he's trying to make here. He's a director and I'm so excited to see what he does next. And I want to see him go on to make other films. I like, I'm starting to like the pace of his movies. I like that they take time to get going and they sort of introduce everything in the, in the early stages of the film so you know what's to be expected. And coming from Mandy back to this sort of film, you know what you're in, in for, I felt, with this movie where I wasn't quite sure what I was in for with Mandy, but now I understand what it's about. I just, want, I just think there should be more directors like this, experimenting, making films that are sort of shocking but surprising and and stuff that's kind of really original in many ways it does feel a lot like thx 1138 but that's because of the containment of it and it feels like that movie was made in the 70s and this film sort of feels like it could be from the late 60s early 70s with exploitation cinema and experimental cinema that came out within the 70s and this, I think, is a great example of that. And it also make, creates its own originality. And I really like that. It's a, it's, this film is an eyesore at times, but it, it's sort of fascinating. I preferred the second half of the film 
than the first because we got to understand who this doctor really was and what the story was really about and what was going to transpire. You really wanted to see this young girl escape the institution and go out into the real world, but what would that mean? And I kind of liked that idea. And it's sort of going with the journey with her. Where the first half of the film takes a little bit to get going and to explain things, where the second half is just much more interesting. And I find that kind of interesting how with this film I prefer the second half to the first, but with Mandy I prefer the first half to the second half even though I did enjoy the first half of this film and the second half of Mandy. I just felt that those particular halves I enjoyed much more. I'd put him in with Yogos, Lathamios, other directors like that who are really pushing boundaries and trying to tell different stories and, and trying to create regionality out of things that have come before but, but put their own spin on it and put an original take on the stories we've seen before. And this is a great example of that. Final verdict. Look. I don't think this film is going to be it for everyone. It's going to frustrate people, probably, probably going to hate it. But if you liked Mandy, I think it's worth your time to go back and look at Panos's first film and to look at the ideas and experiments he was doing with this movie and see how they would transfer and, and he would craft the best elements out of this film into Mandy. But everyone else is probably going to hate it. If, you like, if you're a superhero fan or you like a run-of-the-mill sort of simple film, this is definitely not for you. But if you want something refreshing, unique and different, that pushes boundaries, that asks interesting questions, that really forces you to contemplate what the story is trying to tell you and what the film is actually about, this is definitely a film for you. I'm going to give Beyond the Black Rainbow 4 out of 5. I give it 4 out of 5 because I liked my experiences with it, I liked the ideas and, and that it was original and that Panos was really trying to tell us something different. Anyway, that's all from me today, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit the subscribe down the bottom, otherwise until next time, enjoy the movies.